Welcome back to another SCP slash Those Twisted Pines reading, dear researchers. Today we're going to be reading SCP-2960. The show must go on. Now without further ado, apologies for the further ado, this is Future Scramble here saying that there are themes of suicide in this, so if that is something that you do not feel comfortable with, please move on to another video. Even the stories that come after it are perfectly fine without knowing the SCP attached. Now, without further ado, item number SCP-2960, object class, safe. Special containment procedures. Due to the nature of SCP-2960, the object is to be contained on site in the former auditorium of Redacted High School in Redacted, Oregon. The school has since been closed and the property purchased by a Foundation Front organization. All instances of SCP-2960 are to be provided meals daily in accordance to a standard Foundation humanoid feeding schedule. Medical assistance is to be provided upon request, with physical exams scheduled to take place every two weeks. Following the suicide of five SCP-2960 instances on 11-4-2009, psychological evaluations of each instance of SCP-2960 are scheduled to take place on a weekly basis. Any instance of SCP-2960 deemed suicidal or unwilling to perform at the next show is to be immediately quarantined from all other instances so that counseling or psychological treatment may be provided. Instances of SCP-2960 are to be provided with the following forms of entertainment. One library of 20 pre-approved books with selection rotated on a monthly basis. Four pre-approved board games with selection rotated on a quarterly basis. One television equipped with a DVD player. One library of 10 pre-approved DVDs with selection rotated on a monthly basis. Description. SCP-2960 collectively designates the former cast, orchestra, and crew of Redacted, High School's 2008 production of Urine Town. The anomalous properties of SCP-2960 become apparent when any instance attempts to leave the auditorium or the backstage area. During any such attempt, the instance will be physically stopped by an invisible barrier of force preventing further egress. As of the time of writing, all attempts to physically force an SCP-2960 instance through this barrier has been met with failure and severe injury to the subject. Anyone who was not a member of the production's cast, orchestra, or crew by closing night of the show's run is not affected by this barrier. Foundation personnel are freely capable of entering and leaving the stage and backstage area. At 19 o'clock PST every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night, a male voice will play over the auditorium's intercom, informing the cast and crew to take their places. The voice has been identified as belonging to Liam Schmidt, redacted, high school's former drama teacher. Attempts to locate the source of the announcement have so far been met with failure. At 19.30 PST, lighting in the auditorium will dim and begin to run through the light and sound cues from the 2008 show of Urinetown, regardless as to whether power is supplied to any involved equipment. At this point, all instances of SCP-2960 must perform their roles in the production in full costume. Failure to do so will result in the non-compliant instance being killed via some form of accident, usually involving theater equipment or props. Following the death of an SCP-2960 instance, the lights will return to normal levels until the next show date. It is at this point that any damage done to the set will automatically repair itself. In the event that all instances successfully fill their role and the show is allowed to run its course, the lights will return to normal levels following the play's conclusion. Instances of SCP-2960 that have been killed due to inability to fulfill their role in the play or due to suicide reanimate at the beginning of the next show, provided their body has not been removed from the auditorium or backstage area. These instances will run through their lines and cues normally, but fall dead at the play's conclusion. While their bodies remain within the auditorium or backstage area, deceased SCP-2960 instances do not show signs of decomposition, despite several instances having been deceased for multiple years. Once an instance of SCP-2960 has been killed, it is possible to remove their body from the auditorium. 
if such an instance was a member of the cast during the 19 o'clock announcement. Liam Schmidt's voice will announce that a member of the crew or orchestra will be playing the missing role. At this point in time, the SCP-2960 instance selected to fulfill the missing role will enter a fugue state and will attempt to either obtain the proper costume or assemble one from available materials. They will then act out the role they had been assigned for that night's show. All lines spoken by a replacement instance are projected using the voice of the missing instance. Bodies of deceased instances of SCP-2960 that have been removed from the auditorium or backstage area will decompose normally. However, once these bodies are returned to the auditorium or backstage area, they will immediately regenerate all decomposed tissue and reanimate at the next show. Attempts to identify the source of this reanimation and regeneration have so far been inconclusive, as reanimated SCP-2960 instances are hostile to any personnel attempting to prevent completion of the show. Attempts at communication with reanimated instances by Foundation personnel have so far been met with failure. All reanimated instances do not acknowledge any verbal communication that does not originate from a member of the cast. When addressed by a cast member, reanimated instances will act and address the individual fully in character. As a result, attempts at communication with reanimated instances using a living cast member as a proxy have had limited success. Medical exams of living SCP-2960 instances by Foundation medical personnel have shown that these instances have stopped aging. Investigation into the cause of this phenomena has so far been inconclusive. It is currently hypothesized that all instances of SCP-2960 can live indefinitely, provided proper nutrition is met. Attempts at stopping a show through technical sabotage on the living SCP-2960 instances and Foundation personnel have had limited success. Should a given sabotage attempt disable a crucial piece of equipment on a show night, Lean Schmidt's voice will immediately announce that the evening's show has been cancelled due to technical difficulties. At the end of this announcement, all equipment damage will then repair itself. Attempts at sabotaging the same equipment in the same manner for a second time have been met with failure as the damaged equipment will immediately self-repair. Addendum 2960-A A Log of SCP-2960 Instance Termination Instance Number, Name, Role in Production, Date of Termination, and Cause SCP-2960-1 William Redacted Joseph Oldman Strong 2111-2008 Crushed by a Lighting Fixture Instance 2 Eric Redacted Senator Flip 2211-2008 Electrocution from Backstage Lighting Instance 3 Cameron Redacted Orchestra Member 2211-2008 Electrocution from Backstage Lighting Instance 8, Sarah, redacted. Soupy Sue, 2211-2008, electrocution from backstage lighting. Instance 11, Lily, redacted, orchestra member. 13-2-2009, suicide, nail gun wound to head. Instance 14, Howard, redacted, soundboard. 15-3-2009, Lacerations from Technician's Booth Windows Shattering Instance 18, Lily, Redacted, Run Crew 29-3-2009, Fall After Catwalk Collapsed Instance 19, James, Redacted, Stage Manager, 11-4-2009, Suicide Hung from Power Cord Instance 21, Thomas, Redacted Assistant Stage Manager, 11 for 2009 Same as above. Instance 22, Daniel, Redacted, Hot Blades Harry, 11 for 2009 Same as above. Instance 23, Corey, Redacted, Mr. McQueen, 11 for 2009 Same as above. Instance 25, Janice, Redacted, Spotlight, 11 for 2009 same as above. Instance, 28, Alice, redacted, Josephine Ma Strong, 
5-7-2009, crushed under falling scenery. Instance 32, Jason, redacted. Bobby Strong, 17-11-2010, suicide, overdose on ibuprofen. Instance 36, Jackson, redacted. Cadwell B. Cadwell, 15-11-2012, impaled by falling iron pipe. Addendum 2960B, transcript of Liam Schmidt's message. The following voice message was left on the answering machine of Miss Herring, the high school's studio art teacher on November 10th, 2008. Hey, Jill, it's Liam. Hey, so I heard you aren't going to be able to make any of the shows this time, which, I mean, that's a shame, really. You know, this is the best cast and crew I think I've ever had. I don't know, maybe the best I'll ever have. I mean, they all just fit their roles so perfectly, you know? When I watch them perform, like, it's just... It takes my breath away, really. If I didn't know these kids, I'd tell you that they are their character. Plus, I mean, hell, the set is gorgeous, crew is like clockwork, and, uh, hell, even the orchestra just, it's brilliant. It's all brilliant. I just, you know, it's a shame that it's got to end, right? I mean, Christ, for some of these kids, all they've got is the theater. It's funny, I guess, and kind of sad. Because this might be the best thing they do with their lives, you know? Because they don't have the money for college or the grades. Honestly, I really just want them to be stars, you know? Like, uh, be able to make a life out of this. It would be... It would be the best thing for them, I think. I don't know. Maybe I'm just rambling. Anyway, let me know if your schedule changes or something. I'd really love to see you there. Old college friend of mine is coming to the final show, and I really want you guys to meet. I think you have a lot in common. So yeah, uh, call me back if you get the chance. Okay, bye. As of 25-11-2008, investigation into the whereabouts of Lian Schmidt is still ongoing. Addendum 2960-C, update. On 9-3-2014, following the conclusion of that night's show, Lean Schmidt's voice made the following announcement. Attention all cast, crew, and orchestra members. This has been our final show of our production of Urinetown. Thank you all very much for your hard work and dedication. The show was truly brilliant, and you should be proud of what you have accomplished here. That is all. Following this announcement, all living instances of SCP-2960 found that they were capable of leaving the auditorium and backstage area without encountering the Wall of Force. All SCP-2960 instances were immediately detained. Upon investigation, it was found that all deceased instances of SCP-2960 had begun normal decomposition. In addition, at 19 o'clock PST, all living instances of SCP-2960 will enter a fugue state. At 19.30 PST, these instances will then act out their roles from the show regardless to context. Use of amnestics has proven ineffective at alleviating this phenomenon. All living SCP-2960 instances currently remain contained at Site-64, pending Ethics Committee review on further action to be taken. And that's all the time we have for today, dear researchers. Thank you very much for coming, and make sure to check out the Those Twisted Pines canon if you're here just because it's an SCP. Next week, or rather, next video, because I'm behind, we'll be continuing with the stories related to SCP-2960. Burnt Bridges, or at least the first of which, 1511-2012. Good luck out there, and I hope to see you all next time.